We're underway here in game number six, the game that will determine the winner of Pool B here in the Central Regional Tournament, the USAFL Central Regionals from Burns Park in North Little Rock, Arkansas. I'm Brian Barish, and we are underway, the Tulsa Buffaloes, with players from the Des Moines Roosters in the green, I'm sorry, those are gray jumpers with the black yokes going from right to left on your screen, and the Dallas Magpies in the black and white going from left to right. Both teams won earlier today over the uh, Baton Rouge Tigers combination. And that one is kicked in short off the top there. Here is Jortner. Little give and go. There's a kick up on the way. That one will carry. And then all alone with the mark, he's going to play on and he's going to kick a goal. Where was the defense for the Buffaloes? They were probably out having a chicken sandwich. But in any event, Dallas has drawn first blood off the foot of Alexander Crampton. On the Little Rock scoreboard, Dallas one straight six. Tulsa at the score. Dallas won 97 to 1 over Baton Rouge earlier in the game. Uh, that was the noon game, and uh, they really had uh, they really had the game by the throat for the most part. As we continue on, this winner of this game will advance to the grand final against the Austin Crows a little bit later on today. The Austin Crows. With 27 game win streak, they just defeated the Houston Lone Stars. And they get it on. They just got the kick on, and then that one will go inside as that was James. That one is cleared out and marked. A nice sliding mark by Alex Cronin. Throw that one on to the right. Tipped off the top. Again, out of the hands of James. Jortner with it. Or Storer, rather. Storer, that one is uh, knocked down. Handballs it on. Crampton. And then still loose. And that one is picked up and kicked for goal. That's right there, and it's there. Two in a row. For the Dallas Magpies, and they've drawn clear on the Little Rock scoreboard. It's Dallas, two straight, 12. Tulsa yet the score. Dallas won their second game, as we mentioned, fairly convincingly. Tulsa had shut out uh, Baton Rouge in their game, 28 to nothing. And uh, I would say it's not terribly uncommon in these competitions to see a team get completely shut out. But uh, considering the fact, you know, there's only four, the games are only 40 minutes. Oh, that's got to be holding the ball, and the umpire says no, and the, the, the Magpies bench goes eight droppings as the ball comes back in the play. The little shovel play on. Is that one going off it is 17, who is a Jortner? No, check that. That is Clay Roy, and that one will go in, and it's nicely marked. So here come the Buffaloes back in the other direction. As we mentioned, they have a couple of players from Des Moines and one from Little Rock, and stepping up and taking the mark is Chacon. Or rather, that's uh, Caleb West. So Caleb West plays it in the center of the ground where he finds Maury. Chase Maury, who is very active. There's a long kick for goal. It's off to the side, and it's through four behind. Tulsa is on the board. On the Little Rock scoreboard, it's the Dallas Magpies 12, the Tulsa Buffaloes 1. Ball will be put back in the play from the goal square. Looking to the right, looking for a lead. A stop by Tulsa would be very handy here. That one goes up. The pack forms, and that's exactly what they get as Andrew Raspold. Tulsa, as we mentioned, also playing with players from Oklahoma City. That one goes to ground. I was confused. It's Oklahoma City that they're playing with and Little Rock, not Des Moines. And then out of the back, that one goes up the far side. It's marked by the other Raspold. That's Steven Raspold. They are twin brothers, and they play the same very well that's going to get paid as a mark play on Brazel throws that one on to the right goes inside the 40 meter arc but a big defensive mark taken out there by the number three who is Corey Colvin up on the far side here 
That was up high, knocked away by Mowry. And the ball will skitter out of bounds, and it will be a boundary throw-in. Again, on the Little Rock scoreboard, Dallas 12 on the strength of two straight goals. Ball comes spinning back into play. And it goes out of play again. Dallas is the number six ranked team in the USAFL top 20 poll. And they've bounced around in that uh, in in the in the top eight really each of the last couple of seasons. And they always they have a Division One side, and they always play the other D one sides well, in spite of the fact that they they have been out of it. That's a great look for Crampton. Crampton will cut to the outside, throws that one on to the left, just gets down. Here's a throw. He's going to go that one into the middle, marked, and he's going to play that one on quickly, and it's a goal. Second goal of the game for Martin Mondia, and Dallas is running away early. On the Little Rock scoreboard, the Magpies, three straight 18. Tulsa, one behind, one point. It's a 17-point advantage. Great job by Martin Mondia, who was able to get free, and the combination of Crampton as well as Jay Duncan. Ball back in the air again. There is Andrew Rose. Finds Coleman and West. And the ball goes to ground. The umpire crosses himself and will have a ball up. Jonathan Mills is the head of the USAFL umpire committee, umpire association. The ball goes to ground. Mondi has got it. He turns away, throws that one on to the left. And it is over the head, looking for Jortner. And that one is going to be scuttled all the way back. Crampton's going to run on to it. He gets his foot to it. Is it there? I didn't see a signal. Yes, it's a goal. Alex Crampton with another goal, and Dallas is running away. On the Little Rock scoreboard, the Magpies, four straight 24. There are two number fours out there, and I've been calling one of them Alexander Crampton. But in any event, it's 24 to 1. And the Tulsa Buffaloes are getting buffaloed by Dallas. These two teams met a couple of weeks ago. There's a long kick for goal, but a nice over the shoulder mark by David Grzesiak, who is going to the as we mentioned, going to IC17 as a member of the USA national team in Melbourne. Odell found a teammate, and it is almost marked. Dropped there by Farber, but they keep it to the Buffaloes. Ingram can't get to it. One of the Little Rock boys, he gets pushed out of the way. Soccered on to the near side, and now they're playing soccer. They think they're FC Dallas. Oh, big hit as he stood him up. Handballs it back, finds Brazel, and Brazel kicks that one out on the full. Well, that looked pretty good, and it was a pretty good advance for Tulsa until that happened, and Brazel will be kicking himself. they probably miss, but in any event, it'll be a free kick in on the near side out of the defensive back pocket for the Magpies, who lead by 23 points. Nice mark! Lachlan Beatty. Long kick up the near side. And it's marked defensively by Mowry. And now through the middle of the ground, Rose with a line drive. It'll break some fingers on the way through. Hood giving chase. Here's Grzesiak. Grzesiak runs around. It's like trying to catch Pac-Man. He handballs it back. And then banging it out on the outside was the number 10 over there. And, the, and uh, Mike Main, and the ball has gone out of bounds. And it looks like it's gone out on the full. The sun is getting a little bit stronger here in North Little Rock, Arkansas, here at Burns Park. The tops today about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And that one's gone in, and it's marked. And so back goes Caleb West. West goes into the middle. Farber. 
Handballs it in. There's a kick. It's heading for goal. Is it there? Yes, it is. Tulsa needed that one. Their first major of the game, they're on the board. On the Little Rock scoreboard, Tulsa goes to 117. It's back to 17 points. Four straight 24, Dallas. Ball comes back into the center. As we started to say, these two teams played each other <clears throat> about a month ago in Tulsa at a four-quarter full game, and uh, the Magpies won 100 to 28. And it's the same type of game here, and both teams known for being tough. And it's kicked forward as Williams tried to go forward, kicked back. Farber, or rather that was Rasbold. Hood, he's going to win that. Oh, nice mark as he came flying through to take it. And I'll go back to have a kick. This one, the kick will come from about 45 meters out. The kick is on the way. It is got the distance, but not the direction. It's out of bounds on the full. So a chance goes wasted. The winner of this game will advance to the grand final to play the Austin Crows. The loser will drop down and play Houston in the third place game. And uh, whoever has to play that third place game uh, will be will be in for a challenge. Goes in short, marked by Jack Odell. Odell, long kick up the right side, over the top, finds, little hand is Crampton. Oh, shows a little candy, throws that one on to the right, and that one has gone out on the full. And a good job by uh, Pryor. As we mentioned in the earlier game, Pryor had gotten knocked out at last year's regionals in the second game. Uh, he actually went in to tackle Christian Merritt of the Austin Crows in the, in the final game of that and uh, ended up on the ground, actually had sort of rolled over and hit his head. He was okay and was able to fly back that night. Meanwhile, the mark has been taken up front by Chris Willis. Willis, one of the stronger forward liners, and well, some of these other players have those type of forwards, especially you think of Kenrick Tyrell with the Austin Crows. So here is Willis to extend the lead. Kicks on the way. It is dead center perfect and another goal to the Dallas Magpies. And they have kicked five straight to open this game. Five straight 30 for Dallas. That's on the Little Rock scoreboard. 1-1-7 one, one, Tulsa. And it's a 23-point game. You are interested in playing this game of Australian football. You can find a team in your area. Just go to our website, usafl.com, and check out our Find a Team. A finder up at the top, and also on social media, we're at facebook.com slash USAFL, and on Twitter at USAFL1997, and you can watch previous matches and other matches from this tournament at, US, at youtube.com slash USAFL1997. Here they come again. Willis gets around, looked for uh, Pryor into the middle, but it was taken away. It's cleared out there, and here is Brazel off the clear by Crawford. It goes into the middle, and they've turned it over. Long kick, one-on-one, -on -one, slapped away nicely. A good job coming over the back by David Atkins. They swing it out to the near side. It's picked up, and here they come the other way. Come the buffs. Long kick over the top. Pounces in front of a man. Raspold. He's ball is the call. Boots as the umpire. Marakian gives it back. The kick. It's a long one. Looks for a hood, but couldn't grab it. Off the kick of uh, Matt Barton. And then that one is kept in on the outside, on the far side. It bounces away. Rose inside 50. Setties himself. Now throws it on to the right. This is going to die in the square. Not marked, but it's going to get paid. Oh, he's going to get paid the mark. Is he, the umpire said that he just had enough. Did Andrew Raspold? And this... For their second goal, it's on the way. 
Did it get in? No, he missed it from right out in front. Well, that's not good eats. And that takes them to 1-2-8. One, two, eight, one, two, eight. And it's back to a 22-point game. So Tulsa, 1-2-8 on the Little Rock scoreboard. Five straight 30 for the Dallas Magpies. Tulsa has players from Oklahoma City who were actually most of them had played with Tulsa before splitting off into their own club. Raspold to the other Raspold. Over forward, there's, there's Andrew again. Throws that one onto the right. That's got good carry. It may have gotten there, and it did. A great goal by Steven Raspold, who threw that one onto the right, and it carried its way home. Big goal for the Buffs, and that takes it back to 16 points. On the Little Rock scoreboard, or it's Dallas, five straight 30. 2-2-14 for Tulsa. As we are in the waning stages of this first half. Brian Barish with you. Glad that you're joining us here wherever across the country or around the world on USAFL.com. Ball goes to ground. Picked up by Storer. Kicked forward and it's marked. Willis again who's becoming a little bit more active. Throws that one onto the right. It's going to go. Tracks over. That may track home, but in fact it's going off to the side. And it's a behind. Another point for Dallas. That's their first minor of the game. That takes them on to 5-1-31, 2-2-14. It's back to 17 points. And then it's kept in by Pelletier. He plays on. They give it back. Compton. Crampton with a kick. Or check that. That may have been the other four in Jay Duncan. But in any event, it's another goal to Dallas. And the route is back on. On the Little Rock scoreboard, 6-1-37. It's back to a 23-point lead over Tulsa, 2-2-14. Ball comes back into the middle. The Dallas Magpies, as you see, wearing their... Uh, their jumpers there with the large uh, magpie. It looks like the old uh, uh, Collingwood um, uh, throwback jumpers from back in the day. And uh, Tulsa with new jumpers that they introduced last year, the gray jumpers with the red and the yoke. Marked by Alex Marakian, former Philadelphia Hawk, former Florida Redback. Kicked that one up into the middle, marked by Brazel. Brazel wants to probably try and go forward with time running out. Off the hands, but picked up cleanly. Maine throws that one. Oh, swing and a miss. And then soccered on by Raspold. And that one is going to hug into the pocket. Look at this one as uh, Steven Raspold can't get to it. Handballed it back. Picked up there and knocked off the ball. Just got it away. Thrown to the ground. That's going to be a high tackle, and it's a free kick to Tulsa. Well, the Buffs had made this a closer game. And here is Andrew Raspold. Or rather, this is Michael James. So James, from 40 meters out, it's an awful kick. It's into the middle. It bops straight up. And they'll be able to clear it out. Just out of the reach there. Finally picking it up was Dylan Murray. Murray comes to the near side where he finds uh, Willie Bowman. Mark taken by Pryor in the middle. Some good leads being made. Pryor finds Mike Main. Main will have a jog and a bounce and a kick off his left foot. Inside 50. Ball goes to ground. Spilled behind. Marakian had to go back and clean up the crumbs. Handballs it up over the top for Sneed. Sneed will kick it out into the middle of the ground. Tipped away by Dallas. Here is Murray again. He'll throw that one onto the right, and it is almost tipped. Mondi is going to chase it, and he's got it. Or did he? No, it's through for a behind. A great job, and I don't know if that was deflected. I think it may have been on the way there. I wasn't sure, but in any event, that's another behind for Dallas as they go to 6-2-38. 
It is a four-goal difference right now with Tulsa 2-2-14. That's on the Little Rock scoreboard. And that is halftime. Tulsa has shown a lot of fighting spirit in this one. Has kept the game close, but it's been mostly Dallas as they look to have one foot into the grand final a little later on this afternoon. At halftime, your score, it's the Dallas Magpies 38, the Tulsa Buffaloes 14. We'll be right back for the second half of this one. You're watching the 2017 USAFL Central Regional Tournament from North Little Rock, Arkansas, here on USAFL.com. <laughs> 